What's going on everybody? This is Chaz with Homegrown How To. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be talking about watering the lawn and how to do so properly. Now, when I'm out walking around in the neighborhood early in the morning, later at night, I am seeing some watering practices that just are not correct. Some people are watering their lawn every single day some people are watering at night and you probably should not be doing this if you're watering every single day that's going to promote shallow roots and shallow roots they're just those roots are not going to dig for water you really have to train those roots to be able to dig down into your soil to search for water the deeper the roots are the more drought tolerant your grass is going to be and you definitely do not want to be watering your lawn at night especially if you're in an area where there's fungi problems if you're in an area with high humidity, that is going to set yourself up for disaster as far as lawn fungus is concerned. So the best time to water the lawn is earlier in the morning so that the water is not sitting on the lawn for too long. And one question that I frequently get asked is, how long should I water my lawn? Well, the answer is, it really just depends. It's not about how long you water, it's about how much you water. You want to water deep and infrequently. The amount of water that you want to shoot for in one week is one and a half inches spread out between about two or three days. So I typically will water my lawn twice per week and reach a 0.75 inches of water each time I water. Time is also going to be dependent upon which kind of sprinkler you have, how many sprinklers you have, water pressure, all those factors need to be taken into consideration. So again, it's not about how long you water, but rather how much. So a general rule of thumb is you want to shoot for about an inch to an inch and a half of water per week during those hot months of summer. Now, if you've never measured out how much water your lawn is actually getting, there's a super simple way to do so. Now the answer for how long to water your lawn lies within a measuring device. I like to use these little cups. These I have purchased on Amazon and they work awesome. But if you're a tuna eater, you can use tuna cans as well. The tuna cans are about an inch thin depth. You'll just need a few of them. Spread those throughout your lawn. Run your irrigation system. Run that for 15 minutes. See how much water you've got in there. And guys, no matter what she tells you, one and a half inches is deep. Trust me. So you can see between the three cups that I pulled, I got about 0.5 give or take inches of water in 15 minutes. So to achieve the uh, 0.75 inches of water on the lawn, I would need to water this for about 22 to 23 minutes. And that is what I usually water, is about 23 minutes, so. There's my confirmation on the spray heads. Now, just because you may have some spray nozzles does not mean you need to water your lawn for 23 minutes because that is going to be dependent on how many spray heads you have, what your water pressure is, all that kind of stuff. So definitely do the test. Now I'm going to run the test on my rotary heads in the back. So the rotary heads, they are going to take a little bit longer. I'll probably do a 20 minute run cycle on these. All right, so I pulled a couple cups after running this back fence zone for about 20 minutes. Each cup has about 0.25 inches of water in each of these cups. The way I have my zone set up is I have a zone along the back fence here and a zone kind of along the patio and the garden bed that is over here to the left. So I got 0.25 inches in 20 minutes and I get to 0.75 inches multiply 20 by 3 that is going to be 60 minutes if i only had one zone back here i'd want to run that for about 60 minutes to get that 0.75 inches of depth per each watering cycle but since i have two i'm splitting that in half so about 30 minutes each zone for my back fence and the back patio now again just because you have rotary sprinklers does not mean you're going to be watering yours for the 60 minute cycle. You want to make sure you measure your water. Now, if you have any questions about how to water properly, any follow-up questions, tips, tricks that you may use, please drop those down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.